This week's vocab uh, starts off the exact same. You're going to start with your regular outline that we always do. And so, you know, you'll start with uh, your title, vocab 2-1. Then you'll have your main title here. Then you've got your Roman numeral, first red section here. Then you've got your main idea, and whatever that is. Then you've got your ABC, the whole thing, your second Roman numeral, your main idea, and then your ABC. Then you'll draw your line across like you normally would, but this time we're not going to create our line down here and list our words on the left. What we're going to do is we're going to create your own crossword puzzle. No, you cannot go onto the computer and find a crossword puzzle maker, you know, website, print that thing out, and then paste it on here. I want you to make your own. It won't, it won't be that hard for you. Um, but what you can see here is you've got, here's our list of 13 words that we need to get into our crossword puzzle. So you're going to have a, a list of, you know, across and down. So let's say you've got your across clues and your down clues, whatever you want to do, okay? Whichever order you want to put them in, that's up to you, okay? But then you're going to start to build that. So I would say, you know, I, what's easiest for me is always taking the largest word here first. And I look, okay, I got absolute power, Justinian's code, Constantinople. So let's say Constantinople. So I'm going to draw that across my paper. And now if I count up, I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 letters in here. Okay, so I'm going to need 7 each. So I'm going to 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I could say this is number one of number one across, right? So I put my little one over here, and I know it's going to be Constantinople. So it says, <clears throat> locate the word in the book and read about that word. Create a clue. Your clue should be the definition for your crossword. Enlist that clue in either the downer. Okay, so fill in your crossword with your word. So I've got number one, Constantinople. I know this was the capital city of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, there's many things I know about Constantinople. It was named after, the city named after Constantine. Uh, so there's all kinds of clues that I can come up with for it. Um, you know, but I'll probably say capital city of the Byzantine Empire. Boom. So now I know that the capital city of the Byzantine Empire is Constantinople. Then maybe I take the next longest word, I don't know, absolute power, and I go, how can I go across here? Well, I've got some common Letters, O's, O's, where do I want to put it? Oh, I don't know, maybe put it here, and maybe I want that to be my power word, right? So then I need four, one, or one, two, three after it. So I've got it extending down here for three spaces, right? And then I need a bunch above it. You know, so obviously this is going to be in my down column. And so this is number two, but I've got to have all those letters in there. So I've got power. Here's my P, and then I need absolute, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, or eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And so what is absolute power? Power to do any, you know. Uh, the ability of an emperor to make any rules they want.
to make new rules or decisions they want. It's having absolute power. Okay, so I know that's number two, and then I've got fill it in. Good, and now I just keep going. Use all my words, make sure they get in here, cross them, go all over the place, get my clues in here, and I'm good to go. And that's how you set up this week's vocab.